Hello and welcome to this new video in which I'm showing my implementation of USB MIDI firmware for Microchip Atmel SAM E54 microcontroller. If you are kind of familiar with USB technology and USB protocol, you will know already that this is a very complicated method. At least for what concerns my experience, this is surely among my project, the one that required more study, preparation and more time of test in order to reach a stable result. For all these reasons I have decided once again to split the subject in some different videos. As usual I will make available at the end of this mini-series the code for you to reuse it and customize it for your project. By now I kindly ask you to recognize my work if you like it, subscribe to the channel and hit in the bell to stay tuned with the channel activities. In this video I will show off a simple implementation. I will use my E54 board to exchange USB MIDI data with MIDI OX and with Cubase. In a second video, I will try to explain a bit more the main concept of USB technology. In a third one, I will show the driver code and explain how it works. And finally, in the last one, I will show some more sophisticated implementation of this project. Let's start saying that I have used as work platform a SAM E54 Explainer Pro board, which is already equipped with a USB connector to program and debug the MCU, and a second USB connector called a Target to test USB implementations. In this first implementation, I have programmed a button to send a MIDI note on message via USB from the board to the PC, and a loop back to monitor the data coming from the PC to the board. I think it's useful to start by now using the correct USB naming. The PC, hosting Windows, generic MIDI driver, MIDI OX and the AW software is the host of the USB network. The E54 board is a USB device connected to the host via USB hub. Let's switch on the board and connect it to the host. The board is recognized as a USB device and is enumerated by the host as a USB MIDI device. The moment this enumeration is completed, Windows search for a driver that can communicate with this specific device. In this case, being since 1999 MIDI USB a class compliant implementation in the USB definition, there is inside Windows a generic driver that can be loaded to immediately work with it. There you go. We are now ready to use the, this Windows driver to interconnect any USB application to the device to exchange MIDI data. Let's start from MIDI OX. We load the driver in input and output and clicking on the user button of the board, we can send a MIDI message. There you go. I have implemented two LEDs to track the TX and RX activity. The green LED track the TX1, so the message quitting from the device and going to the host. Let's now send a message from MIDI OX to the board. I will use CSEX feature inside the software but I will be sending a note on message. As you can see the message quit from the host, arriving to the device and is looped back to the host. Both red and green LEDs blink to trace out and in activities. Let's do the same experiment with Cubase. I set Mackie control to the Windows MIDI driver. I sent a note on message that in the Mackie protocol enabled the solo function on a channel. And that's it, voila. That's already enough to verify that the full chain, USB startup and device detection enumeration of the device and recognition of the device type, driver load on the host side, and finally in and out MIDI data exchanged in a full duplex mode is correctly working. As said in the next video, I will try to give some more detail about how USB works in order to then make more accessible and clear the explanation on how the firmware is implemented inside the third video. That's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.